Proxy of being in this cash register. Oh my mint! Why do I sound like Needle? None of my life makes any sense. Ugh. So did my vocal cords switch? <gasps> no way! I actually sound like Coiny. Boil toilet. Toilets. Boil toilet. Where am I? What is this place? Hello? Dear Soap Bubble, hooray. I must express my unbounded elation that you have returned. Where have you been all this time, Bubble? I am not Bubble. E.U. Spongy, why do you look like that? You're even uglier than I remember you, which is saying a lot. I humbly request you to stop acting so impolite, Pencil. Furthermore, I will also request you look at yourself. <laughs> Dear Erasable Drawing Utensil, have you any conception of what is happening right now? Warmest greetings, American 5 cent denomination, potato based consumable, and pushpin. I, like you three, have no conception of what is happening right now. That is sorrowful news. I would like to alert you, the combustion happening near me is at a temperature far above my comfort level. Combustion, unfortunately, I am unfamiliar with the definition of that word. Oh. You mean fire. You are correct in your assessment. Congratulations to us for our clear communication. Congratulations to us for our clear communication. I would like to join the conversation too. She's eating the poison remains of a dead contestant. Whee! Whee! A piece of poop. Distinguished colleagues, I find it of utmost importance to deduce how we were transported to this alternate dimension. Dear Pushpin, it is my belief that we are here because we reached a state incompatible with life in the overworld, all in the same manner and by the same compressing apparatus. Dearest American five cent denomination, what is your implication? Nickel saying we all got crushed by trash compactors, and that's how we got here. I don't know why you're talking like that, but I'm not gonna do it. Cherished compatriots, I must posit that the speech of this deluded fellow was of extreme difficulty to understand. I concur. Think to step in. Admired acquaintances, I warmly appreciate your gracious company. However, I am still combusting, and I am frankly disappointed none of you are taking initiative to assist me with this matter. I ain't helping someone who called me ugly. 